Yeah, this is the uh, building I'm testing here. It's got long hallways here, three stories. The stairways here, stairway there. This is one unit I can show, it's the only empty unit here. So, built in 1965. It's a pretty basic kitchen. Uh, living room area. It's got its own deck, which is nice. I think it's heavy rain today. Oh, you can't see the mountains earlier. You can see beautiful mountains here. A very nice view, but anyways, that's what it does today. But it just changes like that. Heavy rain. So that's the view. North Shore Mountains, but they're all fogged over. So you have a view of Burnaby Mountain. Basically this area here. Uh, we're kind of tucked in between residential and commercial. Here's your ba old bathroom. Basic got old color would that be? I don't know. It's almost like a peachy color, I guess. Heat lamp there. Here's another one bedroom. Here's all, all one bedroom units, about six between six and six fifty square foot. But they all seem to have nice northern views. On you know, so you have each suite's got a view. There's another suite that way has a view that way, and the other suite that way has a view to the front, to the south. Hardwood floors throughout. We just noticed here, see how you can see on the ceiling, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but the two by fours are showing, each two by four joists or two by six or whatever showing, that tells me the, they didn't use enough uh, mud on here. I'm just doing my video here. Just didn't put enough mud on the ceiling. So when he skim coated, they sprayed it. And that's why you can see probably the nails, all the nails they put in there forced. The lines okay so i'll sit on this video the dishwasher Funny, it's got a power cord on it, heavy duty. Which is good. It's raining pretty hard today, so can't really do much. I finished inspection, it took me like almost five hours. Apartment building, so anyways. Figure out cruise a little bit before we go home. Okay, we'll see what else there is. Okay, put this in. I'm gonna drain some water into it. drag here okay lots of room Let's see what's on this alley here Mm. 
Yeah, it's kind of like funny alleys here, like they're running in all directions. For some reason. I don't know why it's doing that, but. There's barbecue there. I haven't done this area for a long time, so. Stuff's turning up here and there, I guess. Stick it. See if I can stick in the back there. Be nice if I have a cutter. This off. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to go like this on an angle. Take this off right away. So I may end up scrapping it off my truck right away. It's not the screwdriver I want. Okay. There's two screws here. This has got brass on this, so it's worth taking off. Right here, see that? Solid brass, basically. I was going to try to take the cord off this this thing here but a nice heavy cord and it's got a cheap mortar like really cheap Probably a white stone out because the mortar's burnt out or something. Okay. Not bad for just going around a couple blocks. Okay. Shoe rack. Back of a stove.
with a storm in the pipe. 20 pounds. Nice how they put in the bundle for you, that's nice. Could have been in some sort of awning, possibly or something. Who knows? Yeah, weather's kind of changed all of a sudden. It's not too rainy as much, but funny, like half an hour ago it was raining so hard. Now the wind picked up, so it's kind of uh, breaking the systems, I guess. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. Some metal. So, fuse box. Oh, it's got the breakers, good. That's all the breakers. Okay. Not bad little pile. Okay, pretty good. Stands of some sort. I was thinking like it might be a guitar stand, but don't really know. It doesn't protect the bottom. Water okay. tank. Okay. Just wonder how I can slide her in. Maybe up and over, hopefully. It's starting to rain heavy again. It's not too heavy, so we'll see. Two thousand twelve. Why the burnout? Oh, it's getting caught up here. Let me just uh 
I think it's getting caught in the handle, I think. That's the problem. Where's the floor? Surprising, it's... This is awkward to carry, if you know what I mean. barbecue thing was in a way handle that's it anyways okay can you see a bag for a lawnmower Cute little bike. A lot better condition, I think, than most of them. Still raining really hard, so I'm buzzing a few more alleys. I'm heading home. I got an okay load. Just the weather's lousy. Much out there, kind of slow right now. It's kind of how it is, right? Weather isn't helping either, right? That's why I drive my van sometimes, the smaller van, because when it's really slow, you're not burning that much fuel. And like I did see a barbecue sitting, and I seen um, a washing machine. But you know, I can stake out the areas you now for next time. We'll see what happens to cruise a little more. I don't really have any room. I don't think I can take that falling cabin, I don't think, but we'll see. There's a little space in the back here. Oh yeah. I'm gonna take the small one. Perfect. Big one here. It's not too heavy. Make a note of it, I guess. A couple items, but nothing. <laughs> over there, I just want to see what's in it. Ok, 
It was just all dropping garbage. <laughs> some shoes in there and some, some other almost like picture frames. So what you do is just walk down the alley and then just leave stuff laying around. Okay. Some coffee maker. Bunch of stuff here, so some drill drill set, uh, cable wires, jumper cables. I mean, okay. Well, looks like it's gonna be a full load card here. That's a fold. Of course, with a car coming. Oh, this, this, this period, perfect. Barbecue. Chains or something here. Find what kind of cards for. Toolbox. Oh, junk out. Oh, look at that. Why would they throw that away? Another big wrench. Shows you people got way too much money. Too much money in the city. It's like $25 wrenches. Or at least one of them is probably $25. Let's see here, two wrenches. Two huge wrenches, look at that. Look at that vice, nice little vice. The garbage swap. Well, this tool set could even could still be good. But it's a cheap one. It's on the front. Okay, well, I think I got the majority. Show me the good stuff. That's it. Yeah, that big wrench is probably about $25. Just that big wrench. I think it's about 10 bucks at least. Oh well, it's always like that, right? Guys throw stuff away. When I do demolition, they leave stuff behind, just like that. That's why I was when I do flea market, I got tons of tools because it leave. It's always left behind. Screwdrivers, wrenches, vice grips, pliers. That's good. Something on the side here. What's over here? No, nothing. So it turned out to be a pretty good day actually. Filled my truck up. Basically pretty full. So 
so we'll see. I'll cruise around a little more. I might end here, so okay.